I want to delve a little more into color manipulation, uh, specifically as it relates to uh, choosing color schemes and relating the color scheme to value planes. So here what I've got is a split complement right here with uh, green as the primary uh, set of set of the complement and then red would be the direct complement but instead we've got uh, red orange and red violet to break it up a little bit. So when we start combining with value planes let's say we use a particular type of green and that light green is going to be the background. So we'll sketch that out and see what that looks like. Then so that takes care of the light. So then we have uh, dark gray, uh, middle gray, and sort of a light gray to complete the value plan. So let's make a uh, very dark version of the violet, taking it almost to black, not very saturated. We can put that in as part of our color and value plan. Then uh, let's make a um, middle version of that as well. A little more saturated. And then to complete it, we'll switch over and do the orange, but we'll do the orange a little bit lighter, not quite as light as the um, background color in this case, the green. We'll add that in. This has a pretty interesting effect so far. So let's take those same color assignments to their values and we'll vary it up a little bit. We'll take the violet as the background, the dark as a dark background, and then we'll put the rest of the colors on top. And so what basically what we're doing is we're uh, deciding proportions. What do we want to kind of be like, take up the most space being sort of the environmental color, and how do we want that to relate to the others? Then we'll take a middle violet Oops. we'll take our orange lighter in color not particularly saturated And we'll complete with our green. So that kind of creates a, a totally different feel. So within these colors, we can play a little bit more. We can play with um, uh, reassigning the values. We can take the same color scheme and say, let's make the green dark in this case and the green will become uh, and for the sake of comparison we'll use that as a background color green could potentially go darker but it's okay for the sake of, of study then let's take our orange and we'll make that the second darkest color We'll also make it um, more saturated than before. Then we'll take violet and fill in the rest. The violet will be the middle, and we'll take a really desaturated middle violet.
or red violet rather. Drop it again, and then we'll do a pale, highly saturated one. Again, same color scheme, same value plan, totally different outcome of how that works. So we could do the same thing and we could make the orange um, or the red orange the ground color, make it really dark. And see what comes out. This time we'll make the green sort of the deeper color, but not the absolute deepest color. We'll make it somewhat saturated. We'll go from there. And then this time we'll take the vi the uh, red violet here, and we'll make it a desaturated middle or a saturated middle. Let's try that. Make the color scheme kind of scream out a little bit and then we'll take a desaturated pale version to complete it. So what we have here are we've limited ourselves to a color scheme and in these last three examples we've limited ourselves to a value plan but we have three extremely different effects that those value plans create. Um, so when you start applying those to whatever content it is that you have, you can still work within one value plan and one color scheme. And by switching up how those combine, uh, you can change the uh, effect of what you're doing.